It is Hughes's last hurrah in the matchless setting of Glorious Goodwood, a stage he has mastered and made his own. Richard Hughes retires today as the reigning champion jockey for the last three years. But the number of winners, that's not the key to the man. What separates Richard from all his contemporaries is that he's been the go-to man if you needed a horse delivered with a surgeon's precision because while plenty of jockeys can force them home in a blitz of ferocity, Hughes has always been about finely executed finesse and a watchmaker's time. It's Wentworth and again Richard Hughes. Here comes Monsieur Chevalier thrusting on by. Oh, what a good two-year-old this is. But he's had to be tough off the track in addition to being brilliant on it. He beat a debilitating drink problem, and every day of his adult life has been a daily battle with his weight. Hughes's long alliance with father-in-law Richard Hannon, and then Richard Jr., at a meeting they invade on the scale of D-Day, has been a defining strand at Goodwood in recent years, punctuated by a fusillade of popping champagne corks in the trainer's bar. All right. It could be a white knuckle ride for punters when Richard was at his most fiendishly cool. His supporters could have palpitations and suffer for Richard's art as he had the blast chilled nerve to wait until long after his backers had pushed the panic button before in a sudden blitz of artistry, he would strike with the stiletto and seal the day. And 70, an exquisite ride by Richard Hughes. And unlike many jockeys, he's bowing out at the zenith of his career and a moment of his own choosing. He will start training with many advantages, but one above all. His father, Desi, to whom he was very close, was a top-class trainer, and Richard has been steeped in and raised in the training life. He has the graft ethic of a jumps background coursing through his veins. He's long been one of the finest communicators the weighing room has known and is a genuinely popular figure. Owners love being in on the ground floor of a new and exciting venture and Richard's yard at Danebury will not lack for patrons. No less a figure than champion trainer-elect John Gosden said the other day that Husey will make a superb trainer. And though it is a fiercely cutthroat profession, he has what it takes to succeed. Richard Hughes, a star man and a jockey of real individuality and flair, has been an adornment to the sport and carries a richly earned welter of goodwill into his new career. One door has shut, another is waiting to open.